Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of Buffalo Sports Center. I am Don, and today we are going to talk about why Jeff Skinner is a bona fide superstar again, which is very surprising for me to say, even though I'm a Sabres fan. But before I get to that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. So let's talk a little bit about Jeff Skinner. He plays left wing. He's alongside Tage Thompson and Alex Tuck on the first line for the Buffalo Sabres, which is one of the best trios in the NHL right now. They're in the top five for goals for, top five for goals against over the last two months, and all three of them have had a fantastic year. And while Tage Thompson has gotten all of the attention, and rightfully so, Tage is a bona fide top five center in the NHL right now. He's on pace for over 110 points this year and is currently in the uh he's with Connor McDavid in the heart in the uh the the Rocket Richard race and stuff. But Jeff Skinner, I think, deserves more praise and more attention for just how good he has been playing this year. Because Skinner is also on pace for over one hundred points. Now, he just got back from serving a three-game suspension for a bad cross-check to the face of Jake Gensel against the Penguins a couple weeks ago, and the Sabres really missed him on that top line. They replaced him with Casey Middlestad, and Middlestad was, eh, he was okay, but even him couldn't get any big-time points on that first line. But Jeff Skinner, he came back in a game against the Arizona Coyotes, and of course, he did Jeff Skinner kind of things. Put up two goals and three points in a awesome game for him. And then a couple of nights later against the Vegas Golden Knights, he gets himself a goal, a huge one, may I add, against the Vegas Golden Knights and helped the Sabres eke out a 3-2 victory over the Golden Knights in Vegas. And by the way, that was the Sabres' first victory in Vegas ever. So, Jeff Skinner, he was at the center of all of that, and right now, he's got 16 goals in 29 games. 16 goals! Remember those two years under Ralph Kruger where Jeff Skinner only had 14 goals in 59 games? Yeah, well, those are the days of the past. Now he's getting 16 goals in 29 games and 36 points as well. Not only is he passing, or not only is he shooting, but he's also passing it really well. Got a little ahead of myself there. He's been absolutely fantastic, wheeling and dishing the puck out. He loves giving it to Tage Thompson, and of course, it's really easy to give it to Tage and let Tage do his ungodly kind of things. But Jeff Skinner has really improved, because he's played with some elite centers before, and his goals total drastically looks and looms over his assists. Like when he was with Jack Eichel in that 40-goal season, he had 40 goals and only 23 assists for 63 points. Then 14 goals and 9 assists. 7-7 seven seven for 14 points in 53 games. And even last year, his first year with Tage Thompson, Skinner had 33 goals and only 30 assists only in 63 games. But this year, it's 16 goals, 20 assists for 36 points. And not only is he passing the puck a whole lot better, and his defensive game has also gotten a whole lot better. He's a plus 13 this year. He hasn't had a plus or even rated season since back in 2018-19 where he scored 40 goals and had a zero plus minus. And he hasn't had a positive one since his rookie year with the Carolina Hurricanes way back when in 2010-2011. Skinner has improved all parts of his game and he should seriously get some more attention for being a great player and doing what he's been doing because he is not only helped feed Tage Thompson, but Skinner has been doing it on his own as well. Skinner is one of the top wingers in the NHL. He's on pace for over 100 points this year. He's improved his defensive game, and he's improved his passing game. And I haven't even added that he's actually turned into a sneaky good face-off center in the NHL. Tage Thompson has not been good at taking face-offs this year. That's his one weakness. In fact, every single Sabres center has been bad at taking face-offs, but not Skinner. 
He's got a 48% face-off win percentage this season, which is a career high for him. Actually, no, it's not a career high, but he is taking a lot more face-offs on the power play because in the middle of the season during the Sabres' eight-game losing streak, one of their biggest problems was not being able to win face-offs on the power play. They would lose it, the other team would knock it down the ice, and the Sabres would automatically have to go back and try again after wasting 30 seconds. Well, that's kind of changed now with Skinner. He goes in after Tage Thompson loses one. He goes in, and more often times than not, he's been winning it. I expect that face-off win percentage to go even higher this year. I wouldn't be surprised if it were to hit 55%, given what it feels like he's been doing in the face-off circle this year. And that's pretty good for a winger that hasn't been asked to do that very much in his career. And he's been in the league for a long time. He's already 30 years old. He's only a couple of Sabres players that are above the age of 30. And despite his age and despite his pretty big contract which is still not great he's starting to play up to it a little bit if he were to hit 100 points this year I don't think anybody would be complaining about that contract anymore because it's not often you get a 100 point player being paid only nine million dollars and Jeff Skinner's contract was bad two years ago when he was only putting up seven goals in 50 games but now we're living in the new age of Jeff Skinner where he scores 33 goals, where he's scoring 16 goals, and he's on pace for over 40 this year. He's on pace to shatter everything, and it's not just because of Tage Thompson. It's because of him, his improved work ethic, and his improved coaching system that he's playing under. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. I was Don. Make sure to hit that like button like button and subscribe and also tell me your thoughts in the comment section about the resurgence of jeff skinner thanks and i'll see y'all in the next video peace